Hello everyone, my name is Helen and this is the Shrimpy McGee channel. Thanks so much for joining me and if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe. It would mean so much to me, but more than that, I'll know that you like this kind of content and I will make more of it, I absolutely promise. The reason I'm here today is that recently I put up a new video about how Rogaine works for me and whether it works for me and how I put it on. And I posted it to a group that I'm part of on Facebook, which is called the Female Thin Hair and Hair Loss Solutions Group, which is a closed group. I'll drop a link to it. You have to ask to join it. Uh, it is just a place where a lot of women come together and talk about hair loss and what's working for them and what's not working for them. So I just left them a link to my video and they or rather you guys came up with lots of questions for me. So I thought instead of answering them all individually, which I will do, instead of answering them all individually, I would just also make a video because I figure if they're having these questions, if you're watching this video, you might have some follow-up questions too. And so it would probably just be best if I just talk about it and talk about the questions that I got and my answers to them because I can only see things through my sort of point of view. Uh, there were a lot of considerations that I actually not really weighed very much. So it was super cool to get your questions. If you have more, please, please, please let me know. Drop me some comments. I even have some in my original video, which I will link to. And I'm of course sure to answer those too. So especially if you get in touch with me through the comments on YouTube, I will write back. But you can also find me on Instagram. It's the same as this channel name, which is Shrimpy McGee. Okay, so anyhow, too much talk. Let's get down to business. You're here to hear my questions and the answers. Uh, one of the questions that I had was, obviously I'm guessing you're committing to use it for good. Does anyone find that daunting like the rest of your life on a product? This really gave me some pause for thought because yeah, for me, when I first was thinking about using it, you know, I had this terrible, big, burgeoning, bald spot. Alliteration people, yes. Um, I had this big, growing, bald spot. I, I kind of didn't want to spend the rest of my life on a product, but at the same time, I didn't want to have that bald spot, so it was a matter of weighing the two evils, and for me, I just wanted a solution. I just, I was like, whatever. I'm not afraid to be on something for the rest of my life. I'm already on some medications, including, for instance, thyroid medication that I will be on for a long time, if not possibly forever. I'm okay with that. Some people are not. They have problems with using pharmaceuticals. I'm not saying who's right and who's wrong. I'm just saying for me, it felt like the right choice. It would just, I could not deal with something that felt almost like a depression coming on because of it. I just thought, you know, just to give myself that chance of having hair again and possibly fixing the solution was gonna be worth it. And I'm, I'm happy that I did. I will show you, because I think in the last video I maybe didn't show you my part that well. I kind of just you got a brief glimpse at it, but I'm gonna give you a bit of a better look. I'll put in, once again, I'm sorry, you guys are probably getting tired of seeing this if you've seen my other video, but I'll put in my hair from October, so I will do that right now. And now I'm going to show you what my hair looks like. You see I've split it in the middle today. Not for no particular reason. I have nothing in it uh, other than, you know, I've just combed it through. I have no product in it, no fibers, no spray, nothing like that. So I'm just gonna give you a look. So the middle is looking pretty good, I think. And so I'm just gonna do a better job than I did in the last video of just showing you the top. So here we go. I'm really hoping that the camera picks this up. And I'll turn around as well for another view, hopefully. So my bald spot is there. I'm really hoping that gets picked up. So it isn't really so visible anymore. I'd say it's still a little thin, but I'm super happy with the job. It's done, you know, growing the hair back in for me. Okay, more questions, let's get to them. Did you have a dreadful shed when you started? I don't know if that's what people are calling it. Are they calling it a dreadful shed? No, I didn't. Uh, I probably would have flipped out even more. I was still losing hair though, so don't get me wrong. Hair was still falling out, but not at a greater clip than it was before I started the Rogaine. Definitely didn't really, it didn't stop the hair from falling. Uh, that continued to happen for, I'm gonna say maybe about another few weeks and then it stopped. And then all of a sudden I could see little baby hairs. But yes, they say that it takes three weeks, sorry, three months to start working. I started seeing some results at about the one and a half um, month mark, but. To, for a noticeable difference, it definitely did take three months. So this is not a product you can put on your hair and expect to have like a beautiful full hair in three weeks time from when you start. For me, it didn't work that way. Uh, so it definitely took the time that it said, but I did start noticing the difference at about the one and a half month mark, which was super encouraging for me. Okay, I've heard that once you use Rogaine and then stop, the shedding and thinning goes right back to what it was. That's why I'm too scared to even try. 
I've, yeah, I've heard that too. I mean, I've heard that, and I think it says in the documentation that comes with the Rogaine that it, once you start using it, you have to keep using it. If you stop using it, your hair will fall out. That's not cool. I don't want my hair to fall out. Do I want to be spending all this money on Rogaine? No, not necessarily, but do I want to have a huge bald spot again? Totally not. So for me, it's worth it. What I have noticed though is I can use less. So I don't know if that's a tip or not. I have read about women other places using it every second day. It's just sort of a maintenance thing. I have definitely used just less amount and you know I'm still pretty happy this uh, amount of time in, this many months in. I have just lessened the amount that I use and uh, yes, I still get hair loss, but nothing like what it used to be. And you know, as I showed you, it's I'm, I'm happy with the fullness level that I have. Okay, what was the cause of your hair loss if you choose to share? I don't exactly know, that's the truth. What I think it could be is a combination of factors. One of them is one of the drugs that I'm on is a clinical trial drug uh, for cancer patients. I am a cancer patient, but I say that because I'm not in remission yet. It hasn't been five years for me. I take uh, since you know I have my oh, since my initial diagnosis, uh, but I have a lot of medication that I take to help prevent recurrence from happening. And one of those drugs is a clinical trial drug. And one of the side effects is thinning hair, not massive hair loss. It just says thinning hair. So yes, my hair has definitely gotten thinner. And I, the bald spot itself, I'm not too sure what caused that. One thing I noticed though, is that the hair started to fall out like crazy exactly one, cause I was completely bald. Let's remember that. Like I started out completely bald back in what was it, maybe two years ago, the summer of two years ago, by October, that's when my hair started growing in all over. It was slow, my hair's slow growing. And so exactly one year later, tons and tons of hair fell out. And for me, it seemed like a coincidence, like all the brand new hairs just fell out. And I haven't done too, too much research and obviously I'm not a trichologist, but I think that there is something to like, once a hair gets a certain amount of months old, it just falls out and they're all grew. If you think about it, they all started at like ground zero at exactly the same time. So they all got to a certain age, which is one year old, exactly at the same time. And I think that might have caused some of it. Not exactly sure. So to answer your question, I don't exactly know. That's my theory though. It's a combination of the medication and the hair being like one year old, all of them exactly almost to the day, one year old and just falling out because hair does fall out eventually when it gets old. My biggest question would be my thinning is on the crown, but mainly on one temple side. So I guess like there and front bang area. Has anyone had success there? And the number one reason I have not tried it is I don't want to lose that little bit of bangs I still have and temple eye part on the side. Okay, sort of, sort of. I, I'm not a Rogaine expert. Obviously I just sort of know my own story and from the amount that I've researched and read and the other billion YouTube videos that I've watched, but that still doesn't really make me an expert. I had success filling in this area, yes. Maybe not like this part here, but now if you actually have bangs and they're pretty filled in, and that was much, much thinner. If you look back at older pictures, that area was much, much thinner. So it all filled in, including there. Uh, temples, I would say my temples did not fill in quite as much as the rest. You know, there's still a bit, if there's anywhere that's still pretty see-through, I'm gonna say it's my temples. So I don't, and I, I think I've read that it doesn't work that well in the temples, but then I've read for some people it does work really well in the temples, so uh, you might just have to try it. I know people are really scared of using Rogaine. I'm just here to say that luckily I didn't have any side effects or anything like that, which I discussed in my previous video, but I get that it's not for everybody. I'm just sort of trying to tell you my truth about what happened and answer all these amazing questions that I got. I was told to use 5% Rogaine twice a day, Men's or women's does not make a difference. I believe originally the women's was only 2%. Yeah, I've heard that too. I know this isn't really a question, but I thought I would respond. The Rogaine I use is 5%. I, I'm using it only once a day. I've only ever used it once a day uh, and it's been working for me. Okay, another question that I got, which was super interesting was, did it cause you to gain weight? No, it never caused me to gain weight. Was that supposed to be one of the side effects? Because luckily I've never had that. I mean, listen, there's things I have done that have caused me to do, lose and gain weight. And if you wanna hear all about that, I've done some intuitive eating, you know, not to toot my own horn here, but I've done some intuitive eating article, sorry, not articles, Ugh, can you tell I'm a freelance writer? I've done some intuitive eating videos which I will link to as well. And you can have a look and that's sort of just my journey with intuitive eating, which has nothing to do with Rogaine. But the bottom line is no, it didn't cause me to gain any weight. You know, I have struggled with my weight in the past for completely other reasons, but it's not like I took this and I put on 10 pounds or anything like that at all, it didn't happen. 
Uh, okay, I think that was it. Let me look. I think I also had some YouTube comments. So let me just have a look at those and answer those for you here as well. Something I'm taking is causing baby hairs to grow, but they do fall out and regrow again. I'm wondering if this minoxidil will do the same. Ooh, I don't know. Um, I don't know, what are you taking to cause the baby hairs to grow? If anybody knows what, could you just maybe jump into the comments and explain it? Uh, for this lovely lady who's left me a, a question, I just don't have an answer for that. For me, you know, I just grew baby hairs and they seem to be growing longer. They are a different texture, which is super interesting, right? They're a slightly different, softer, babyish texture. So you gotta keep that in mind too. You will get fluffy looking hair growing in and baby fine looking hair. So, you know, that's a consideration as well. Uh, last question, do you know what caused your hair loss? Got that one on YouTube as well. I've gone through that a little bit. A combination of factors as I've described previously. All right, so I hope that clears up some of the questions you might have about minoxidil, AKA Rogaine, AKA Regain. I've been having nothing but good benefits from it so far. If that changes, I'll definitely make another video to let you guys know about it. But like, I'm happy. I'm really happy with my, how my hair looks right now. I just, I, I think this is a really great product for me. You know, once again, this is totally not sponsored, but I found it really helpful just in sort of regaining a bit of confidence and sort of happiness and not feeling like I had to cover my head and stuff like that. And now it's summer and my hair is out all the time. So that feels really good. All right, everyone, I hope this was helpful. Once again, if you think it is, please give me a like. That really helps me know that you've seen this content and that you like it. And would you consider subscribing? I have this really small goal of getting to 100 followers, which is like so hard. So if, if you subscribe and you have an account and you like this and you want more of this kind of stuff, and I also do other kind of fun stuff on my channel, it's not always just, you know, intense hair, Rogaine stuff, um, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.